Yes guys, what is happening? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what we're doing, we are fitting something on my brother's Cupra 280. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Basically, my brother bought this car slightly modified, so what we're doing, changing out some bits that he's not really happy with. So, I believe it's a standard airbox with a KN kind of panel filter, but we're getting like no noise off it whatsoever. Um, he has put an a different turbo elbow on it, and I believe did he say there's a turbo muffler or some sort? Um, yeah, we're not messing with that today. So if you yeah, obviously intake holes and then yeah. separate you've got your uh, aluminium turbo elbow yeah. so that standard that comes plastic and it's restrictive oh, does so it? once we get it off we'll see some are three inch some are smaller but I'm not sure so All right, let's show them the goods This is a Mountune box, to be honest with you. I didn't know Mountune did anything for Seat, so I was quite surprised when you sent me this. So, Mountune airbox with I don't current know. filter. Yep, and then it integrated intake hose with your turbo elbow. Oh. Let's uh, see how well this is to fit. Let's go. So, I'm not going to pretend like I know what I'm doing because I have not got a clue. So, yeah, uh, let's uh, just wing it. I've got my Got my trusty Halfords Advanced Toolbox. You ain't a YouTube mechanic without one of those. Uh, so what I can see is we've got a TX bit there, TX bit there, and then there's like clips, little clip things here. So I believe if we take this off, obviously that bad boy is gonna like replace it. One focus, yep. So I'm you gonna know, hopefully take this off, which will lead the cold air feed to there. Um, I don't think I have to take these screws off, but I'm going to take the screws off under the Jubilee, pull that off, separate this, and then just have a look. I don't know if there's any fixings or anything like that. Um, so obviously you've got fixing there, fixing there, cable tie for the battery supply. So yeah, I'm going to grab the TX, start cracking these off. Right, so first things first, 7 mil. We're going to loosen this off. And then hopefully be able to pry the airbox out of the way. So someone on YouTube says. Right, so I've undone the Jubilee down there. So theoretically this should pop off now. Hopefully. Yep. That's coming off. And that one's fell down there. Right, so now we've got the turbo elbow airbox. Apparently this geezer seems to think that you can just pull this off. So obviously you've got a little oil filler thing. Right, so literally, I've just put my finger here, give it a quick pull, and then I've managed to like release um, some of the rubbers. This one was quite firm. But I've managed to lift it. And yeah, uh, it's got a B ITG. Yeah, it's got a it's got a performance uh, panel filter in it, you know. Uh, yeah, it looks like an ITG, I think. Yeah. So let's uh, get that out of the way. Right then. So we have got this is just in the way a little bit. So we'll pop that out. Stick that up there, and then we've got some like oil slash coolant lines. Pull, pop them out of the way. Um, and I think might be just under the tops. I think, and then we'll probably be able to get the new bad boy, hopefully. So let's uh, get a TX, that one off, that one off, and hopefully it comes away. Right, so we've got one there, one there, and I believe this bit should come out then, fingers crossed. Right then, so there is a PVC connector, push on that, you literally push the sides together and then pull it up, um, and then if you can see correctly, just where my finger is there, that's very hot. Um, there's a TX bit there, pull that off, and then this should come out then. So we've got to pop that out sideways. So yeah, we're going to extreme measures. We've even got the ring light out, so let's get this off. So, yep, right then, so basically with this, all you do is push it up and then pull out. So there's like little tabs that hold it in place. I don't know why you can see. Bring this light over this way. Come over, come over that way, Lou. 
cool. It'll be cool. Huh? I think we got to use that red seal. What? The uh, silicon thing. So, got that red seal there. Right then, so what I've done is I've pulled it out of here because it was a bit tight because there is a connector here and um, a little hose there. So I've just got that in on its own. So basically you push it in and there's little like, there's little claws that kind of like hold it into place. Um, if you can see it there, on the inside of this it's got a claw, so I've made sure it's all flat, so it's definitely flush. And uh, yeah, good to go. Hopefully you can bring the, bring the light round to me. Yes, yeah, so, so you can see the little claws locking it into place. Does that go on? Right, so, How's it go? that goes on top of the wall. So we literally, yeah, we literally sit in there. Well, obviously this bit, it's got a tuck underneath, so try and tuck it underneath. Sits in the rubber bone. You mentioned a relocation hose. What? Oh, this is, I don't know about this. Have you researched it or what? So, really. I'm guessing. Is that clip? Best of working from this end. Yeah. Get, put, put your bones in. And the, That's put it. your bones in then, so. So, obviously, that bit's got a line up in there. And same on there. But then I think that bit is for the top of the lid. Right and go, so we've lined up up underneath like so. That one's there, bung there, and there's a bung hiding just there that you can't see. But everything's in place, so now I'm gonna pop the comb filter in there, in there, and then screw the top on. Right then, we're all on. I had to find that that was very tight on the wire, so I pulled the like connect the whole metal connection because it's it's like a, an insert. So I pulled that out, connected that to the metal insert, then pushed it in there. Um, and then I did the same on there because it's got like slotting grooves for in here. So yeah, let's go. Uh, you start a new one. Go on there, kid. Let's go. Make sure it's not in gear. It'll run us down. Sounds a little really different. Yeah, it does be fair. Sounds a bit different. Thing? Can't tell yet. No. You're best off changing it yourself. Pedals. Yeah. Video. Yeah. Right then guys, so we are literally, I'm so sorry it's so dark. This is the problem now, trying to film after work. It's like, what, half seven? But we're out here, we're still trying to film. So, uh, trying to see if it sounds any different. So it's got a new turbo elbow, which is supposed to be bigger and reduce like, reduce the flow as such. So this one should be better and more efficient. Apparently it's supposed to upgrade the torque a bit. Obviously I don't know, because this is my ball game, Coopers and that. So see if it sounds any different. We got suckage. What do you think? Yeah. Cut power it's quick then, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know if traction's all the way off. Don't know. See, what you need now is you need a reset valve or a diverter valve. So when it's sucking, it'll go and not yeah. blow it off. Sounds nice that does. There is a little wash to it, isn't there? Yeah. There's a fake one. A fake mm. cobra. Hello. 
Right guys, that is it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, it was a bit of a mad one because it's literally like a late thing after work. I'm going to buy some more lights. So if we do anything more like this, I'm going to have like the maddest lights set up. I hope you uh, hope you can have the confidence to do it yourself. Now, I actually didn't have a clue what I was doing, but it's pretty much all the same kind of crap. Undo a bolt, undo a plug, plug it back in and that. So yeah, uh, if you're all new here from the Seat viewers, um, I've got a Renault Megane RS. And I've done a fair few things to it, so I uh, hope you wouldn't mind checking out the channel. And uh, like that, I think we're all done here, so I'll see you on the next one. Peace!